Hey, so it's Big Tank. We got our very basic beat here, but you guys understand some things. Now we're going to get into vocal recording, and this is a very, very, very important thing. It's half the song. So, first thing you want to do is create a new audio track, which I've done already. But for the sake of the video, I'll do it again. All right, so let's delete this one. We want to right click, go audio. All right, it'll be turned off. You want to go here and select channel one because the mic is in focus right number one. And then you want to push input. Right now it's getting feedback. You see that? Can we close that door? That feedback is my voice because the door is open. Once you close that door, we'll get less feedback, right? Now, when I'm ready to record a vocal, I'm just gonna turn this off. When I'm ready to record a vocal, what I wanna do is have my artist. This is the director of the YMCA, Young Breezy. Young Breezy, can you step into the vocal booth, please? She was signed to Universal Records some years ago, so this should be good. We're gonna put it in the input and we're gonna push record. Now, we're gonna double click as usual and we're just gonna push play. Record and just go and talk. Breezy free in the booth. Keep going, keep going. Breezy B in the booth with Big Tank at the Dreamer Lab at the YMCA. So she's too loud, we gotta turn that down. You can come in. All right, once she does that, you wanna put this on auto and it goes live. And you can see that these waves are big. So let me show you what happens when that happens. So now we got Breezy Bree in the booth. Breezy Bree in the booth. So she's a little loud, let's take this down. Breezy Bree in the booth with Big Tank. All right. At the Dreamer Lab at the YMCA. And remember, she was signing Universal Records, so. Was. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to double click that. Let's say the audio, I mean, I would have her redo this, but this is just for the sake of you guys learning how to record. But if you ever get a track that's too, too loud, like you see these things are hitting these sides, you never want to hit the sides. Like if you listen to this beat, that is how it should normally look, right? But if it's hitting those sides, it's distorted. That means it's going to be distorted. You could just bring it down here, but I just turned down a distorted sound, but it won't sound as bad. Now if you want to hear, click that number six. Breezy B in the booth with Big Tank. Now I want to show you guys some really cool stuff. What the, we can do with audio. Let's pitch her down. You see this thing says transpose right here? Now, how did that window come up? When you double click an audio piece, click, click, and it comes down here, that'll be here. This is where we edit everything she just did. So let's take this and go. Breezy free in the booth. All right. So, now you want to make her sound like a man? Breezy B in the booth with Big Tank. At the Dreamer Lab at the YMCA. Just turn, just pitch that down. Make her sound like she was pitched, dry, uh, like she was screwed. Let's bring it down even more. Breezy in the booth. Oh, you want to pitch her up? Make her sound like a little kid. Breezy B in the booth with Big Tank. At the Dreamer Lab at the YMCA. Hey. So a rapper um, would just do uh, a little bit different things than she just did, you know. She hasn't been signed in some time, so we gotta give her a pass. All right, so that's how you cut a vocal. Now let's say we want, we have a full song and we're like, all right, let's save this track. You come here, you go save as and you name it. Breezy Bree. And you're done. So now you can close it, no problem. When you open up Ableton again, Everything should come up blank all over again. And the Breezy Bree beat, I'll show you guys how to get to it when you want to find your beat and find your music, okay? So our track was Empty, 
and we were actually in um, a different window, but I'm just showing you how to get to it. When you see open, recent set, you'll see Breezy Bree. When you load it up, everything here will pop back up and double click. And you can now hear it again. Breezy Bree in the booth. All right? Breezy B in the booth with Big Tank at the Dreamer Lab at the YMCA. Hey, there we go. All right, now. We could also add some effects to Breezy Bree if we want to put a chorus on her to make her sound like five of her. And then we could add that and make her sound like, you know. It's Breezy Bree in the booth. Breezy Bree in the booth with Big Tank at the Dreamer Lab at the YMCA. Yay, yay, yay. That's called an echo. So this is something simple. I hate that piece. So there we go. Now let's say you want to make the drum sound even better. This drum bus. Now, all of these things are all here and the volumes are here. And there's another way you can access this window. All right? Yeah, this thing is just in the way. But there we go. So this is your mixer right here. So now, this is where we mix songs at. And you can see, here's your drums. So it, la it labels everything for you up here. Because you can just label this by right clicking, name it. Breeze. And you want to mess with her value? Want to turn it up or down? I hope that all makes sense. So basically, all we did was we just moved over to here, which is the mixer track. And this is where we mix at, okay? So I'll get into clips and stuff later, but for right now, I think that's enough for you guys just to kind of chew on just to get started, okay? I'm Big Tank. I'll be back for lesson two next week. Let's get it. All right, guys. <laughs>